Yo guys, so today I decided to start a starter progression series to help newer players as well. As you guys can see, I'm level 1. I'm going to be buying three things. And these are the things that I said in my starting video that I do recommend buying. We're going to buy VIP, premium pass, and extra loot. That's all we're going to be buying on this account. Other than that, the rest will just be earned through tasks and everything else. Because I know a majority of the people, that's about what they have normally, is just these three. So, we're going to give that to them. So, starting out, immediate first weapon you're going to want to get. You'll have these three. You're going to want to go with Fist. Obviously, the attacks are all the same, but Fist is better. And I think I cannot stress that enough that people don't understand. Fist is the better one. I get the question all the time. We're not going to have enough to pull a sword. Uh gloves yet for the bill so we're gonna start off in easy and obviously you have your auto fight feature here I'm gonna run it through normally because I'm not really sure how strong I am yet but you just hoard them up do your basic skills now for this series I'm gonna be doing a lot of off grinding which is just gonna be me basically auto fighting so because a lot of the progression is that there's a lot of AFK farming but I will try to get as much progression as I can on this account on video so yeah it's almost dead now all right so we got a few blues right off the bat. We got a necklace. The good thing about World 1 is they do give you... Oh, they gave me a hero as well. Okay. The good thing about the World 1 area is they do give you necklaces early on. So you can just equip the best for now. Obviously, you want to keep the fist. And we have 300 coins. So we're going to level up this skill for now. And we need to look at what our daily quests are. So we need... It says we need to summon one cosmetic. Obviously, I can't do that right now because I don't have the gems to do so. But we can roll. We can defeat 300 enemies and we can defeat 150 enemies. We need to do 20 waves of teamwork. So for the teamwork one, obviously I have two accounts. But you could just go to any main place, like any main server, and ask for help. I'm sure people will help. And for stats here, we're going to put them all into attack. And we're just going to run this again. This time, we're going to run it easy because I already know I can clear it. So we're just going to let that run through. And I'll be back after this one clears again. This run's going by a lot quicker because of the attack we put in. We have a bit better gear. I'm about finish here. Let's see what we get on this pull. more blues i wonder if i got i think i got a back yep we got a back so that's extra defense we can use and we're going to roll a weapon so we're going to roll this only once because i don't need a weapon that badly let's see what we get not bad we're rare i'll take it <coughs> we'll equip that it's an extra 85 attack which is big and you're not going to sell these you're going to want to fuse them into your weapon at least for now so I'm going to get my second account real quick. I can't accept this until we're level 20, but I'm going to get my second account real quick and we're going to get this teamwork one done. Like I said, if you don't have a second account, obviously you could just go to the main world and ask for help. People will be willing to help you or go to the Discord. There's tons of people who will help you there. Let me just make sure I can do this real quick. Oh, it's got a lock here. 25. Okay, so when we hit 25, we'll do that later. But you do want to get these, try to get these missions done every day because this is a free 100, 900 gems, a free 900 gems. So yeah, and you also get a free 10k gold. So just starting out, that's actually huge. Plus the battle pass XP, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to run this for a bit and I will be back. So I did forget to mention, we unlock normal now. So we're basically just going to keep going all the way up until we reach level 25. When I get to labs, we'll see if we'll be able to clear, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be too bad and I should be able to make it to 25 with no problem 
but yeah, we'll see how far we make it. You know what guys, I just remembered that there's the main quest and I completely forgot about it because my main account, I don't have main quests anymore, so it was kind of confusing. But I forgot you get a bunch of free gems right off the bat here, so we're going to run through easy real quick and get these gems, and then I'm going to roll my first fruit. Alright, so we just completed both the quests. That puts us at 720 gems, so we can roll twice <clears throat> in this new one. Also, guys, don't buy this. I mean, if you have the Robux, you buy it, but it's not really worth it. I think I shouldn't point that out. Let's see what we get. So, what we mainly want to aim for is the Light Fruit or the Love Fruit. Obviously, this is a hard pull, so we might not even pull this. But if we could get this or this, this would be great. Sand is the worst. So let's see what we pull. Pulled the ice fruit. That's not terrible. And we actually pulled light. Wow. That's surprising. And light is very good. It is a very good fruit to have early on. And it's an 8% chance to pull. So, happy we got that. We're going to swap this out here. You will have your skills here. Also, guys, on the breakthrough, we're going to break through once. Because we do need to save our gems for now. So, when we get enough, we're going to just break through it once and leave it at that. Because once you break through more than once, it starts to get really expensive. I think it's about 10k gems to do it past one time. When in reality, it's like 1k for just the first one. So yeah, so we're going to continue the grind at 25. I think we just unlocked hard. Yep, so I will be back. So guys, we just hit level 20. If you guys are wondering why this mission isn't done, it's because I basically just did normal all the way to 20. It was easier, and I didn't really have a reason to go out of my way to move to the next one. So... I try to hatch here, see what we get. Got common. We're gonna rehatch. See if we get something better. Common again. I would try to at least get rare in the next area. Nothing yet. I mean, even then, if we spend all our money on this, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, we got the rare. So this is 177. It's better, slightly. So we're going to fuse all this into it. That's 50 attack. So what I want to do now that we are level 20. We are going to do the solo leveling thing real quick. This is the new update, obviously. Uh, it's very good for extra attack bonuses because it is fairly easy to get to these waves. I'm not going to carry myself on my other account just because that would be unfair. So I'm going to actually go through and do it and see how far I get. So we are almost at 50. Um, I am playing manual because I would not be able to make it to 50 if I was doing auto. So basically what I'm doing is I'm utilizing my Z skill to keep my distance. So we keep our distance here and then we press C. That wipes them out. You can do this with other fruits, obviously you don't only have to do this with light, but light's a good one to have because it's so strong and it does have a decent range on its C ability. And we're fighting the boss here now, hopefully we can clear without dying. Then we are just about done now, maybe one more Z, yep, and just a few more attacks, he's dead. Oh, and we got an epic necklace, nice. We're gonna back out now. There's no way I'd be able to make it to 100. Let's take a look at the title. We got 200 attack. That is a decent bonus for early on. We definitely needed that. And we're going to look at the necklace we got as well. 29 attack compared to 14. Double, which is a good little help. We're going to check if any of this is better. I think everything's about the same. I'm going to fuse into this. And now we can start doing lab. I am going to run this help or the hard quest here so I can just get this mission out of the way and then we will go to lab next.
next. Alright, so we're finally within level range. Sadly, since I started my account late, I'm only going to have enough time to do the waves one and probably just the summon fruits. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the 2,000 enemies, but I will be able to get these. So I'll make some progression on my battle pass. If I started a little earlier, I would have been fine, but oh, I need to re-log on my other account. But yeah, so we're going to see how far we can get. I believe I should be able to do the 120 waves fairly fast. I just need to run through to 150. <clears throat> but it's just going to take a little bit because I have to carry the account. Sadly, I have a 2x going too, so that's going to be wasted, most likely. Alright, we're about done now. <clears throat> I didn't realize how long it would take, because I didn't know that in the normal waves they don't do the skip anymore, like World 2 does. So, we just finished it now. It took a bit, but we finally got it done. Used about used about half of my double XP boost on it. A little unfortunate, but at least we got it done. So we'll claim that in a moment. Let's move my other account back. Alright, so we're going to claim this. That is 400 XP for the season, which we need. The gems are nice. We do need those, but I mainly want the XP for the season at the moment. I feel like that's more important. And we're not going to be able to do these two, so we're not going to be able to get the 2k gems this week. I didn't realize it was this close to being done. I forgot. It kind of just slipped my mind. So we're going to go to the summon real fast, and we are going to try to pull some more fruits because we need to do 8 to finish this. Which I might just do a 10. I wonder if we got... We didn't get love, sadly. But that's fine. In the 10, you usually get at least a decent legendary, but I didn't even get a legendary on that pool, which is kind of surprising. And when we're level 30, we'll have the hero summon. I was mainly waiting to save the gems for the hero summon because I already have light, so I don't really need the gems that badly. Uh, I don't really need other fruits that badly, I mean. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to pull Zaruto, so we might wait for him to go into the standard because... My luck with the special summon one isn't very good. But I think that's all we're going to do for this video. I'm going to continue grinding off camera for a bit. And I will make updates. I want to make videos on this about, about two times out of the week. But yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed. We made it to 26. Probably when I start recording next time, I'll probably be almost about 40 if not farther but I want to make sure I don't make it to world 2 before I start recording the next video so that you guys know how I progress and what I did so yep that's all have a good one peace